Bitcoin Spot ETF goes live in Australia. Let's see what it does for the market. Hey mates, good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, again, four amazing Bitcoin charts, a crypto tip, I'm talking about the news, of course, answering a question of one of the followers, and of course, ending a video with an inspirational quote. Let's quickly jump into the news, because it's massive news, and after that, I will take you through the charts. So the news for today, guys, the spot ETF going live in Australia today on Tuesday, yes, after the United States, Canada, Hong Kong, now also Australia joins the whole spot ETF for Bitcoin, guys. So this means more and more liquidity will flow into the market. One of those Australian economics expects around three to four billion in the next three years. So it's not as massive as the United States, like almost 14 billion US dollar. It's smaller, but still is three to four billion in the next three years. Hong Kong, probably the same. Many other countries will follow as well with these Bitcoin spot ETFs, which makes it possible for a lot of institutional investors, a lot of people that need to buy Bitcoin in the official way, not like you and me. We can buy still Bitcoin on the streets, here and there, OTC deals. Those people need to buy in an official way through a spot ETF, and that is also possible for all the Australian people. So yes, in Australia also, some Bitcoins will flow probably out of all the exchanges, and flow into these spot ETFs because some people just trust the spot ETF companies more than a traditional exchange that we like, like Bybit or Blowfin, for example. By the way, if you want to use Bybit or Blowfin, use the links down below. Uh, you get special bonuses this beautiful month of June if you use that link. You can win up to 100,000 US dollar on Bybit and on Blowfin at the moment. You can win, I think, an Apple Vision Pro, a Rolex watch and some other stuff. So do use those links, guys. But in Australia now, they will be able to buy a spot ETF Bitcoin. They probably will also follow up with an Ethereum spot ETF, but that will take another couple of months. So it's very positive, guys, again, for Bitcoin, a huge step. Now in Australia, where also the kangaroos now will get access to buying a spot ETF. At least the auto efficient kangaroos, maybe also the physical ones. You know, can the kangaroos in Australia own a Bitcoin wallet? They should be able to do. Yeah, when it's AI in the far future, they will be able to transact with each other. And even the human beings that want to pet the kangaroo, you need to, you know, scan the QR code and send some stats, guys. Uh, amazing news, Australia. Uh, very happy to hear this. Yes, and we as a family been there once, and we definitely need to go back. Yeah, we didn't go there for the last couple of years because of all the, you know, the lockdown shit. But now uh, that the country is turning to normal again, yes, we definitely will visit it again as the Bitcoin family. The second news of today, guys, is again about Trump and Biden. Because a lot of people are commenting down below my videos, yeah, you're a Trump supporter, I'm gonna unfollow. Yeah, you, you know, you should be following Biden. Guys, let me be very honest. I am not United States citizen. I don't have any rights to vote, <laughs> to be very clear. But for me, if I need to choose between someone that's almost dead and someone that's also almost dead, but yeah, did do great business and is a little bit maybe egocentric but did far better with economics and everything than Biden then I would choose for Trump because he is crypto pro and maybe that whole crypto pro stuff is like only done for their votes but still when you vote for one of those at the end they need to do what they say and if they don't do what they say then they won't win the next elections guys it's very simple so they need to do what they say and if not yeah, they throw in their own windows so it's very simple guys I do support Trump more than I do support Biden more. I don't like what Biden did. The whole situation with all those lockdowns and all that, you know, Wuhan situation that we can read now in the news with Anthony Fauci, you know, Biden and Fauci and all that stuff, mm, doesn't give a great taste to me. He's not like pro crypto as well, because now again, he doesn't allow the banks to become custodial services and all that stuff. You know, that is not the president I would choose. I would choose a president like Trump that didn't create any wars, that did support Bitcoin, that did allow Bitcoin, didn't do all this KML and KYC regulations as far as uh, Biden did, and did think a little bit more realistic about all those lockdowns and everything. So for me, yeah, Trump is the winner over there. Hopefully, the United States also will vote for Trump. Now, that was the second part of the news. Let's jump into the next part. The first chart for today, guys, is this four-hour chart. The buy signal was over there. The candle were closing above the yellow stepping line. The blue line was above the white line. The white line was curling up. We had green appearing, the green line on top, beautiful entry over there. And yes, there is a profit to be taken. And do you close this trade or not? I would still stay in this trade. Why? 
there's a lot of large wicks to the bottom. We want to go up, so we are indecisive because there's also some large wicks on the top to be very honest. But we didn't close the candle down below the yellow stepping line and there's also no sell signal. So I would wait for a bit because, you know, you are on profit. Of course, the profit can be maximalized, but you can also just you'll be happy with a little bit of profit. The moment we close down below the yellow stepping line, we are still in profit. But there is a chance we continue this move higher. Why? Let's zoom out now, for example, to the daily chart. On the daily chart, I am just very bullish, guys. We broke out of the pattern. I did say we, we would retest these lines, go up then. We are retesting it over here again. We did go sideways a bit, a little bit more retest. And there will be a moment that we are, bam, taking off. Taking off to these levels of 74, 75, 76K, maybe even to 80K, depending on the volume that we'll get in. RSI also still very bullish. We're still below the 70 line, so we can still work up a little bit more. And the MACD on the bottom also starts to become a little bit more bullish as well. Lighter red. The blue line will be crossing that red line soon. And then, yes, we will green hills again. So there will be a move. Everything points that there will be a move, guys. It's very interesting to see. A lot of people doubt at the moment. I'm still zooming out and buying as much as possible Bitcoins below 70K. Because in my opinion, there will be a moment that you won't be able to buy below 70k for a very long time anymore. So for me, these are the last beautiful moments to access Bitcoin in the 60k range. If you look at the chart on the one hour here on the 3rd of uh, June, we can see that we are also breaking out of this pattern again. And every time when we break out of these patterns, we go up about the width of the beginning of that pattern. So over here, then we go out to there. So that would reach 74k almost. It's a 7% profit that you can take on the one hour chart. There will be a moment, guys, that we will go massively in this run. And then you will be again, ah, shit, we should have known it. If we take a look at this chart, we zoom out a little bit more. Very interesting chart. We're going to start on the top left over here. 2010 till 2022. Now, the 2010 run had a top. And then we pull back. And that's the zero line. And from the zero line, we go up to the 0.618 line in the Fibonacci tool. That was exactly the top of that next run in 2014. Now, then we take it here to 2016, 17. We went up in 2014 to the top. We came down. We have the zero line. If we then again draw with the Fibonacci tool, we get a 0.618 line and we get a 0.786 line. Where was the top? In between of those two, a blow of top higher than a 0.618 line. Then we go to the next market over here. 2016 to 2017 top over there. Here the zero line, 0.618 line. And we took it exactly to that level, the 0.618 line. These levels are not drawn there like with like sloppy hands. It's just exactly calculated from that zero level, the bear market bottom, all the way to that line with the Fibonacci retracement tool, a 0.618 line. That was exactly the top, around 70K. Now again, we are doing the same. 2020 to 2021 top. We come back to the bear market bottom. The bear market bottom is over here. That's the zero line. Now, if we would again peak between those two lines, the 0.618 and the 0.786 Fibonacci lines, we would reach a price of around 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin to 167,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. One of these definitely will be reached because we have reached those levels every single time. 0.618, a little bit higher. It's exactly the 0.618. Between the 0.618 and the 0.786. Here again, we will reach that level. We will reach the level in 2025 somewhere. And that will give you a price of 100k to 167k somewhere in between that. The peak, everything occurred between these two extension levels of the Fibonacci tool. Very interesting chart. And if we take a look at a six month chart and every time, you know, we have a bear market, that's a dark candle. Then we come up a little bit, we come a little bit more, and then there will be a candle that we break that ceiling. And when we break that ceiling, it's all with real, a lot of volume, but then the next six month candle also is a huge candle. Bear market, yeah, we go bullish. We break that ceiling, that ceiling is a bull market top, eh? the closing of that candle. When we break it, bam, two more massive, huge green candles. Bear market, in between run to 14K, a little bit more bearish again. When we break that ceiling, bam, two more candles to 70K. 
bear market, a little bit sideways. We break that ceiling, probably two more six month candles, 12 months to go to a new all time high. And yes, if it will be these small candles, that would still mean we go to 120 to 160K. A simplified chart that's very easy to understand for all of us. And then we get to the last chart of today. If we look at the prices pre-halving, this is the halving. Look, we just did like we always did. We went up a little bit over here, the bull market in 2021. Then we had a bear market coming to the bottom. Then we went up again to the halving. I told you to buy over there, just remember. And then we went up again to the halving. And what do you think that we will do now? Do you think that white line is now going to do exactly the opposite of those other three lines? While it was doing exactly the same three halving, it didn't do anything different than the other cycles before that halving. Do you now believe that we are going to do completely something different after that halving? Do you believe now that white line is going to do this, going down here? Or do you believe that white line is going to try and do the same like it always did, create a top somewhere, come down somewhere, something like that? Or maybe do you believe that we go from here only a little bit lower than that green line and then come down? All of these possibilities of the top three lines will bring us above 100k. The only one that wouldn't do it is if we go down like this, which I don't believe. For me, it's very simple. We are in the second part of the bull market. In the second part of the bull market, we are going to go up, up very high. If it's 92x or 30x or 8x or only a 4x, only a 4x. If we go 4x from 70k, that's 280k. If we go 2x from 70k, that's 140k, guys. Please understand this chart. If you go 1.5x, even that, guys, would still be 100k. We are going to go up from this moment. You should be accumulating. This run, you will take it, and then you will sell and exchange it to stable coins to buy back more bitcoins at that next bear market bottom. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Short term volatility, but a breakout to 74k to maybe even 80k is on the edge. We are on the edge of breaking out, guys. And the breakout is gonna be there. If you're still able to accumulate Bitcoin below 70k, just understand that you will be able to do that now. But when we go above it, it will take another 12 months before we go back to these levels of 70k, guys. So yes, I do think these are the last moments you will be able to accumulate Bitcoin below 70k. And yes, I do think we will go into a next run because on the charts you saw exactly what was happening, but we zoom out, zoom out and look at the bigger picture. Yes, Bitcoin is exactly where it needs to be and it will be exactly higher next year at the same date, guys. And four years later, it will be way higher than we are today, guys. So that's how the Bitcoin cycle moves. Every in each four years, the tops are higher and the bottoms are higher. You should be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin each and every day. The crypto tip for today is very simple. Do you want to win $750 worth of Bitcoin? One of you can win that prize now. Just go to my X account or Twitter, however you still call it. I still want to call it Twitter, but it's X now. And I yesterday did a post. And if you follow me on X and repost that post and also subscribe yourself to our YouTube channel, just by clicking one link, that will give you the chance of winning $750 worth of Bitcoin. That is a very nice prize. That's free money out there just to subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me in X, and repost that post that I posted yesterday. And within a couple of days, I will announce the winner and yes, send you directly $750 worth of Bitcoin. Hopefully the price then is still below 70K, so you get a little bit more Bitcoin, guys. So yes, that's the crypto tip for the day. Do join that giveaway because I'm not doing giveaways every month, but I need to celebrate that we reach 75K subscribers on YouTube. So $750 worth of Bitcoin going to one of you. Just do the three steps. And now we get to the question of the follower. But before I do that, I need to tell you a very funny story. Yesterday, I was on a special date with a beautiful blondine called Wendy. And when I was talking with Wendy, she was like, Didi, I have a son and his name is Bart and he created his own Bitcoin cap because he's also a Bitcoin. I thought, oh, show me the cap. So she showed me the cap on the picture and he had the, the letter B, like Bitcoin, dash art. 
So his name is Bart B. Art. So she told me that story yesterday. No, it was not a date. I was having dinner with my parents-in-law and we met her there on the terrace before you think, oh, did he just go get divorced? And we got all that gossip shit. I told her, I will make that joke tomorrow that I met you and that we were dating and that we were, that you told me about your son and that maybe your son will be watching my video and he will be laughing his ass off. So B. Art, if you're laughing your ass off, uh, I want to thank you for being a true follower of the channel and give your mother a big hug of me because uh, she's very nice woman. Now let's jump into the real question of one of the followers. The question was Didi, I'm still very hesitant as I really believe that Bitcoin could crash really hard because of all the wars and everything that is now playing in this world. Now let me be very clear to you. Every bull cycle there is something happening somewhere in the world. It's always something huge or it is a huge flu that is like conquering the whole world and still Bitcoin went up to 70k. Or it was China that was saying, no, nah, we are gonna ban Bitcoin mining, we are against Bitcoin, and we still went up to 20k. Every cycle, something is playing. And in my opinion, a war is really bad for the people, but a war is never bad for economy. That is why a war exists. Do you really believe that still two people from different countries want to shoot each other and kill each other over what? War is economy. Whenever there is a war, a shitload of dollars, euros, other currencies are being printed to support a war, and a shitload of that money will also flow into you know, the rich people. And those rich people will be buying Bitcoin, for example. So Bitcoin is also a real store of value hedge against a war. Just imagine in your country where you live, in the Netherlands, and there will be a huge war, the Germans come crashing in. The whole banking system is down. You can't go to the ATM. You can't get access to your money anymore. But you do have some Bitcoin. You could travel with your Bitcoins to England. And yes, exchange your Bitcoins to British pounds over there. Or you could fly with your Bitcoins to South America or Asia and exchange your Bitcoins for cash over there. Because Bitcoin is always working 24 seven every and each day. They don't close on Saturday, they don't close on Sunday, they don't close on special holiday days. They are always open. Bitcoin is always open. And Bitcoin is accepted all over the world. So even if there is a war, Bitcoin is a perfect tool to escape that war and take your capital to some other place where you will be able to live in a safe way. So wars, again, I feel sad for all the people that are now in the war situation but it is done because of economy. It's all about money, 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 money. And people that are smart enough will exchange their local currency into Bitcoin before a war breaks out completely. Because then they will always have the possibility to leave. Just like the people from Ukraine were able to leave to Poland and exchange their Bitcoins in, into euros or whatever currency they want to use. All the people that just had their money in the bank accounts, the banks, they were bombed. They were closed. They couldn't use them. Bitcoin was still usable. So for me, I hate wars. I'm more a person of love. But if there is a war, I would prefer to be fully in Bitcoin because I can exit that situation very quickly with my full capital into a country where there's no war and use my Bitcoins over there. Simple as that. Bitcoin is the ultimate solution for any situation there is in this world. Simple. Just believe and understand Bitcoin. Then we come to the last part of the video, guys, the inspirational part, the inspirational part for today. Stay true to yourself. I think that's very important. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of us always make decisions knowingly, then going against our gut feeling. It's not what we want. It's not what we think that we should do. But we still take that decision because it feels right to all the other people or because we are forced into taking that decision because of a boss or whatever but we feel deep inside it's not the right decision and still we take it. And that is not staying true to yourself because you make all those decisions that are not really your decision, but the decision of all the surrounding people, you will feel bad, you will feel terrible. After making a few of them, you will be crashing down into a burnout. You need to stay true to yourself. You need to believe whatever the gut feeling is telling you that it's the right feeling. That is the feeling that you need to follow. Not those two voices in your head of those million voices around you that tell you to be someone that you don't want to be. And again, they start cleaning. 
I hate those cleaning people here in Torreverga. And I don't know for sure, it happens to all of us. Very often you get into this situation, you need to make a choice. Deep down inside you feel that there is a choice you should be making. That's the gut feeling. Yes, I should choose left, but then still you will be influenced to choose right. Because other people tell you that that could be better for you. And every time you do that, not follow your own gut feeling, you will start to feel worse and worse and worse. In the end, guys, believe it, you will end up in a huge burnout because you didn't stay true to yourself. I experienced exactly that. I was living that life. I was living the life that other people thought that I should be living. The moment when I started to listen to myself deep inside, because I didn't have any other chance, because it wasn't a huge burnout, the moment that I started to listen to my gut feeling, what I needed, what I wanted, what I wanted for myself, but also for my family. That is the moment I start to change life. And that is the moment that everything fell into place. And all the positivity came into my life. And all the energy started to flow because I started to listen to my inner self, to my gut feeling. I started to accept those things as the right choice, not the things that all the other people want you to believe. It's all about that. It's simple as that. It doesn't cost you any money. It doesn't cost you any investment. It doesn't cost you anything. It only will cost you a little bit of time to start to focus on what you really feel that is good for yourself. Just stop running that hamster wheel for 10 seconds. Stop it. Go sit in your garden or wherever. Go walk the beach and think for a couple of minutes about what you really feel and what you really want to do with your life. And that is the right feeling. It's not that feeling that everyone is putting on you. And all the shrinks and all the people and all the colleagues and all the friends and all the family and all of them have their opinion. And all of them will tell you, you should be doing that. This is the best thing you could do. You should definitely not do that. You should definitely not do this. This is all bad for you. All of those voices, silence them down. Don't listen to them. Even those own two voices in your head, don't listen to them, the devil and the angel. Listen to your gut feeling. That's the right feeling. And that feeling is always there. It's never gone. You just need to start to listen to it and accept that that is the right thing that you should be doing. Hopefully you can do something with that on this beautiful day again, guys. But that was everything again for today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about everything in this video, guys? And yes, go to X because you can win up to $750 worth of Bitcoin. That's a lot of Bitcoin. Thanks for watching. Wish you an amazing day. See you tomorrow again on Wednesday. Bam.